<clears throat> Hi, Phil Hundel here, uh, wrapping up our series on the condemnation timeline steps. Uh, my, my timeline uh, uh, that I have uh, at my blog, linked to this video, it's a 12-step um, condemnation uh, timeline to try to give you, the landowner, just a better feel of what the condemnation process entails, what's all involved, and, and always remembering where, you, where are you in the process. So uh, we're at the point where we, we've talked about step number 11, either side or both have objected to the award and now you're moving into the civil litigation process. And, and once again, condemnation proceedings, think of the everything from when the petition is filed to the objection uh, or to the special commissioner's hearing is, is referred to as the administrative phase of the of a condemnation uh, case. Uh, so it's the administrative phase. And then once the objection is filed, uh, the case moves into what I just refer to as the normal, regular civil litigation process, which will ultimately end in a trial if uh, the case isn't resolved uh, by the parties. And so uh, what, you know, and, and I could spend lots of time on the, the civil litigation phase <clears throat> of this step, but because step number 12 has multiple steps in it. Uh, but let's just say in general, you know, what does normal civil litigation entail? It entails conducting discovery, both sides, uh, written discovery. Uh, discovery can also include, uh, you know, inspection of the property, depositions. Uh, and when I say written discovery, you know, uh, requests for production, uh, interrogatories, requests for admission, and then also the required initial disclosures. So that's discovery, and then uh, there can be different uh, motions, and so there's pre-trial, you know, things before trial, pre-trial motions, but motions related to if there are certain things that uh, one side or the other wants the court to declare or determine, then that those are taken care of by motions. Uh, and then also, obviously, both sides We'll have experts that will be disclosed and then oftentimes challenged or certain opinions of experts will be challenged. So those are all things that can happen during the litigation phase. Uh, also, courts will oftentimes, before a case uh, goes to trial, they will send the parties to mediation. So there's a mediation component. And then ultimately, if things still don't work out, then the court will have uh, some pretrial hearings to basically work out a lot of the uh, pre-trial disputes about evidence and whether certain evidence will or won't come in. And then also just kind of the administrative part of uh, scheduling the trial and when it will start and how things will take place in that particular judge's courtroom uh, related to trial and breaks and things like that. And also technology in the trial. And then ultimately, once again, uh, the case will end uh, if it doesn't get resolved before then in a trial and then obviously there's other stages after a final trial which could can could be a motion for new trial an appeal to the Court of Appeals and so on but we won't cover that in this video so that wraps up our video series on the uh, 12 steps of the condemnation timeline that I have at my blog uh, so when you refer to that timeline if you want to kind of have more information you can find the video that relates to that step and I'll have them uh, indexed or titled uh, by the step so that you can find it easily. Hopefully this has been real helpful. Uh, I've enjoyed walking through this. Uh, it feels like just a conversation with, uh, with one of my clients and, and so uh, hopefully this is helpful uh, when this can be explained and it can be something that you can watch multiple times. Hopefully uh, if there's something that you don't understand. As always, as I've always recommend, if you're facing an imminent domain or condemnation proceeding, it's extremely important that uh, you find an attorney that handles these type of cases, is familiar with these types of cases, uh, and get someone that, that can help you better understand and navigate the whole process, be it from uh, the initial contact from the right-of-way agent all the way through trial. Good luck.